This show is brought to you by Rotary International. Service above self. Welcome to a new show of Ahorn TV, and I got two very special guests here. Hi, Anita. Hi, Julia. Hello. How's it going? It's great to have you two here. But before we actually start with this whole thing, uh, with our discussion, what you what you guys do, maybe just you just give me a quick overview. What's what's your full name and what do you do? My full name, mm -hmm. Julia Rodell, Doctor Julia Rodell. Your doctor. Yes. In I'm what? A PhD in forest sciences. Mm -hmm. And uh, I work half time at the University of British Columbia here in Vancouver. Cool. That's one thing I do, and the other half is being a producer and actor. We we get to that in okay. a moment. And what about you? My name is Anita Reimer, and I have my MFA in theater acting. I come from a theater background, so I love acting, but I'm also involved in real estate. I do fix and flips on the side, aside from acting oh, and quite, producing. Quite a mix. Yes. All right, but before we get into the details, yeah. let's have a quick look at this trailer. He's lurking the study area. Oh my god, I don't want you to end up like Diane Fossey. Don't cut down my trees. Your trees? Those are my trees. Pending an official investigation by Internal Affairs, you're both suspended without pay. Excuse me? <sighs> Someone set us up. You remind me of a dog I once had. He had that killer instinct. I have a job for you and your partner. A covert organization that may or may not be government affiliated wants us. Who do you work for? Well, I'm independent. An independent what? When money talks, the trees get cut. Got a sample before it's all gone. Yeah, people shooting at us. They're guys in hazmat suits, and now there's an Asian assassin on the loose. Almost there. The whole logging industry will have to change the way they cut down the forest. Where do you think you're going? You change the deal, and he's got your money. So we'll improvise. We're under something big, like revolutionary big. They published in Nature Big. I want my life back. You might have there's too much at stake. I've been forced to take action. Pretty cool trailer. Is this is this a, um, some sort of Hollywood show which you guys are shooting here in Vancouver? Maybe you. Well, it's Hollywood quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say we've got some great stars working with us: um, Adrian Holmes, Eric Brecker, Nick Harrison. Wow. So that's John Marshall bad, Jones. John that's Marshall a bad guy. Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Eric Brecker. Yeah, that's a bad. Guy. You have yeah. produced uh, or started to produce a show fully on your own with your own money. And it's, it has really uh, the same quality style as we see on TV, uh, you know, like The Sanctuary or whatever. And they may be probably use more CGI, but uh, uh, your show from acting-wise, look-wise, very professional done. Why did you do that? I mean, I mean you're a doctor in, in forestry, you said. Yeah. Science, science forestry, no? And, uh, well, I mean, how come? Well, first we had great people on our team, so we had professionals from the industry who worked for us and helped us for free or almost free because they really believed in the concept. Remember when we came up with the idea? Remember? Yeah, it was it actually on a run. We met doing some background work, and we um, both had said, "Why don't we? Why don't they make more of a you know film with two tough chicks kind of thing, right?" Yeah. And I have a fighting background yeah. for theater, different combat sports, and so we came well. We mentioned it, and then next week she had this whole script written. So, <laughs> and you wrote it, it actually, yourself, right? It was after the run, and we went to the. It was at, during the Olympics. And during we the went, Olympics, and we went to the yeah. German house. We went yeah. to the German house and had beer there, and then yeah, that's how we came up with it. No, that's uh, that's, that's yeah. really cool. I mean, uh, how did you finance it? Or <laughs> well, what is it? many many different approaches. Yes. So, first we put in tons of our own 
uh, time and money. money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, we had some investors and um, we also did some fundraising on Indiegogo. Mm -hmm. So, for example, last year we financed one shoot totally with, um, with a fundraising campaign um, of Indiegogo, from Indiegogo. And um, what else? Well, many people just volunteer or pretty much volunteer. So that means lots of deferrals in there in the project. So yeah. they are hoping, because they think it's a great idea, a great concept. They are hoping it's, it might get picked up and um, yeah, yeah, we we, we use we, we use that word deferral in yeah, the film industry yeah. as as much as they use it in the green industry with sustainability, right? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a very it's a very common word for us, deferral. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we did have a lot of uh, help as well. Like one of the biggest expenses for a film is feeding the crew. Yeah, right. You can get people to work for free, but you still have to feed them. And oh, so yeah. we had a lot of wonderful sponsors. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we Drews, had Drews, Drews yeah, Jason, from, from um, the Cubs, original sausage factory. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Got so it. he he supplied us with like tons of salami and sausages. And now wait a minute. Yeah. Why sausage? You actually didn't. <laughs> you actually didn't tell. Yeah, yeah, you didn't tell our viewers what your background is. <laughs> I mean, we, well, this is the Ahon TV show, but. Right. But German sausages. Yeah. So you're you're full German. Where where yes. do you come from actually? Which part of Germany? Originally from Hannover. Oh, so that's In the Hanover. that's the cleanest for Canadian viewers. That's the cleanest German, right? Yes. Without any accent. No. There's no Perfect dialect, German. no accent. In I don't know. I lived in Munich, and I don't think they have accents. Oh, Munich there. is heavy duty. Munich. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Munich is heavy duty. The the people <laughs> from the north they don't understand the Bavarians. <laughs> so um, just get, getting back to to your show, uh, it's called Die Libelle. The, the libelle. So why the libelle? And uh, what's what? What's her idea? <laughs> Be because I have it, always yeah. loved dragonflies, and okay. I think that they're very symbolic of change, new beginnings, and that's sort of what we, you know, transformation, um, mm. harmony. So that's kind of what we wanted to bring out with, you know, her theme of the outdoors and and transformation for our characters kind of a new life for them as well. My character goes through a lot of changes, a lot of it negative, and then, you know, but she yeah. is in search of a new life as well, so it's... Yeah, and, and, yeah. and also because your background is, uh, yeah, what you, you know, your doctor, and, and, and uh, so you pick probably the topic specifically because it's forestry. Yeah, it's forest You probably sciences. could get the location, yeah, forest sciences, yes. and you could get the locations easier, no? and the laboratory and all that. Because yeah, they, otherwise they were very, you, yeah. you pay tons of money to, yeah, to get these true. kind of uh, location yeah. and then set it all up, all the yeah. props and everything. We didn't need props because it was exactly. a real lab. Yeah, it was so already on hand. Yeah, so the department head at that time, um, he was very generous and allowed us to, yeah, do really what we wanted to um, at that weekend. So, so kudos we had one to weekend. the university, no? Yes, it was, so it was Rob Guy from. He was the department head in from UBC. 2011, yeah. Yeah, UBC. that's yeah, that's really it was great. Very generous of him. Yeah, I mean, are you are you working actually on? on uh, such type of uh, topic uh, because the uh, topic well we don't want to talk about the point of the story but we can talk about the research in there yeah yeah it, it, the way i understood it yeah. and that's really interesting because i always thought it was a joke because when i was when i lived in germany yeah. um i heard about this research of uh trees uh talking to each other in a forest or they they, co they communicate they are communicating bigger trees yeah. communicate to smaller yes. trees yes. is it true yeah it's true Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Sendung von A und TV.
there are many different avenues of communication. So it could be hormones, and in our case, we are talking about underground network communication. So they're connected via the roots. So the really? trees are connected via the roots, yeah, and yeah. this is how um, yeah they, they communicate or they send nutrients back and forth. And then who Avatar and does exist. <coughs> yeah, it's, Avatar, it's like no? Avatar. It's, like Avatar. it's true. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah. So it is actually my. Um, PhD supervisors and now my boss is Suzanne Simard's uh, research. So she's she's um, she did groundbreaking research on it and she had a Nature publication. So that means that's yeah, she sort so, of yeah yeah so it's so her it's her project yeah and she's still working on different um, types of communication between trees um, still today. That's but coming because, back yeah. but coming <laughs> back to your show, uh, mm. I mean. That's that's one of the topics. In our in case, show. It, for the show, we have made it a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, yeah of so course. we have. Yeah, absolutely. So, Otherwise, it's yeah, too, it's too boring. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> <laughs> for 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 some people, but it is yeah. it is a. So we need the drama in there. So that's why absolutely. we had the the logging industry funding it, and then. So you have the tree huggers and everything in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the loggers, and then we have tree huggers. You're the tree huggers. I'm the tree hugger. Did, do you do you build then a tree house on the tree or something like that, and I then sit there for it for? It would be for fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, the thing was that I really wanted to. Okay, let's bring something about. meaningful yeah. full into into the entertainment, and that, that I want to do because what what I do for work is the the science communication thing, right? So that's that's the, what I'm passionate passionate about. I've yeah. just always wanted to play a cop. You always wanted to be. I a cop. always wanted to play a so cop. So you guys are a little and bit I'm, like fire and water, right? You're you're the green person. So yeah, I want to bring the science in there. I want to bring something. You're meaningful. more the hamburger. Yeah, if I like think, a hamburger. I definitely wrote some of those lines with like, "Give me my steak," right? <laughs> No, wait. <laughs> give me my steak is good, but what is what is? Give me a give piece me. of cow. Or, you know, what is your favorite sentence? Oh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, which I like. My oh, yeah. favorite sentence is oh. "Suck it up, get focused, and let's do yes. this." <laughs> I love that when a woman says that. It's uh, it really means something, right? It's like Clint Eastwood in a female body. Yeah. 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 So, and you are the soft green one, or you're the hard green one. No, I don't think I'm. So, I'm very. She's soft. not soft. Yeah, no. So who's the soft but one? Who's the hard one? Neither of us. We're both, both pretty kick-ass, badass. Yeah. Badass. Yeah. Germans or badass Canadians? I'm Canadian. She's German. And, yeah. So you would see each other as. Yeah. But we are not. We really butt heads. Yeah, in we're the, not in friends. Yeah, we're not yeah. friends. We have we have issues. She's yeah, an annoyance to me in the film. Like yeah. she's just this. Because she wants to. You know, she's thinking of a project. Yeah, I'm uh, right. Yeah, she's and just I'm thinking of the project, my character. Yeah, 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 and I'm trying to solve this international drug trafficking yeah. thing, and I've kind opinions. of got myself in a big mess. And I just, she's just an annoyance in the in the film, right? Yeah. For yeah. Anne. Yeah. You are uh, right now looking for financing because you haven't finished the whole. It's a series, correct? Yes, it is. It's. We went through so many transitions since we started. <laughs> so we started out very humble as a web series and then we thought hey but we want to go to TV. Why? So, <laughs> Why is TV important for you? Well, is it the image of TV because a lot of people There is say, no money in web series really. We 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 learned yeah, a lot when we yeah, when we learned a lot. Like we just we had no idea how you how you can make money. There was when we, we started they said, "Oh, yeah, you can make money on the web, but you actually still to it's this day." Very difficult, it's and very only difficult. one or two have been able to make yeah. it on the web. We went yeah. to Banff, uh, to the Banff World Media Film Festival. Uh -huh. So we got we the were Banff one of Film Festival. Six to go, mm -hmm. and so we you know, invited, yeah, we made it to the finals. Yeah, yeah. there's. I mean, there's one. Yeah. There was one, and they got sponsored by the Blue Jays. You know, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Yeah. That's some pretty good funding, but yeah. you know, like it's yeah. other than that, you're you're on your own on a shoestring budget, yeah. making it happen. Okay, but this is a way to go uh, for a young filmmaker to go to Banff, yeah. the television and it's festival, a way to, media well, festival. It's a way to get into TV as mm. well. Yeah. You know, it can be an avenue for that. Yeah, as but it, well. it was a competition though. So we we won, or we were one of the finalists. Mm. Wow. So it was a competition. We we submitted our our show, and we got picked, and we were one out of six and we had to get up in front of everybody and all the people from Hollywood and big shots from Canada and had to pitch our show to a big audience and yeah. I now mean, yeah. we did actually submit as far as like TV we did submit six web series as a TV pilot in LA mm. and yeah. it we won for best director in LA yeah. as, as a, a TV, TV show. show. Yeah. As a TV pilot. Wow. Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's gotten somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. And did you actually go to Germany to figure out if the Germans could be interested in a, some sort of co-production or yeah. would it be too early in that stage? Actually we are talking with right now. one broadcaster and, and they mm -hmm. are interested yeah so we'll see. Very cool. But 
But you what? can't talk about this yet, right? No. But right. the thing is, what we are planning now, I think we can talk about that, the one no, we're planning. Yeah. So the way, the way the story was set up, actually, it wasn't like a, your typical web series where you have, it's like a little story in itself. Each episode, we didn't have that. So we have a continuous story that just goes, goes It really through. started, actually, she started out writing a feature film script. Uh, uh, what kind of funding would you say is really is realistic for this project. You you mentioned in the beginning uh, Indigo. Indiegogo. What is Indiegogo? What, what kind of website is that? Indiegogo is a um, crowdsourcing um, platform. Mm -hmm. So you they give you a spot. So crowdsource financing. Yes. So Crowd they give you financing. yeah. You so you, they give you a spot and you um, you film a little teaser. We have a really funny funny. Oh, we do. Trailer. It's hilarious. It and it really works. Funny. It works. And you, well, it's so hard though. It's, it's hard. so hard. And you, if you, you don't make your goal, they take a big chunk of it. Yeah, away so they from take you. more percentage than if you meet your goal. Mm -hmm. um, so we were looking at, we wanted to have $9,000, and we just we made half of it, and even that was so difficult and so time consuming. It's, it's really underestimated. And then you read about all those stories where people just make a million in three days. Yeah. And it's probably, it's probably like, like YouTube, it's right? Like, like a, then people make money on YouTube, and that's yeah. like three people out of I don't know how many millions. But, who don't, are on there. but don't you make uh, money on YouTube? If you, for example, mm -hmm. have a clip which is let's say just three minutes long and you got eight million clicks on it yeah. then YouTube will probably pay you whatever 300 400 500 dollars yeah, uh, to get to month. the eight million yeah. now that's the first, to get that, to the eight million. first then eight million you have to pay them yeah right just to get eight million clicks okay that's one thing but then even if you make 300 or 400 dollars a month it doesn't get you anywhere if you want to produce a, a show yeah no no it's true but yeah. but if, if you it's thousands and but thousands you have for example now 17 17 pieces, right? 17, five, yes. approximately five minutes, six yeah. minutes. Yeah. So right now we First have one is 10 12, minutes. Tw no, 12. 11 are right now. Ah, and the rest is on uh, rest with an editor. Yeah. We're still in post production. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Where, where can we actually see that? I mean, uh, what's the website? It's um, <coughs> www.libeltheseries.com. Um, uh -huh. Is that an English uh, word, libel? I mean, because we say in German, die libelle. Is yeah. it in, in, in English also libelle? No. Does libelle exist? It doesn't exist. No. Yeah. Oh, so, so I'm saying it actually wrong. I should say libelle. 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 Libelle, yeah. Libelle. I think it's great. If you, no, seriously. I think it's great to connect green topics also with a quite reasonable, um, uh, realistic approach. I mean, your background is that. Yes. You know? Uh, I think um, then you almost don't need really to act. You just you are, you, you play yourself. <laughs> playing, she in is in that sense. She's really playing herself. Totally herself. Yeah. Really? You are, oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, you you are passionate about this topic. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. You just and she's to, in the forest and she has her dogs. And you have yeah, your dogs. It's, it's what so. I, I you walk your dogs. Do, yeah. right. I want to be yeah doing research with my dogs and film at the same time. So this project allows to have it all in one, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So you met Uwe Ball by yeah. walking your dog, right? Yeah, so we had do so dog pure walking to, together. Uh, so what did Uwe say? He said About he, Libelle? Well, he, said he saw it, he probably saw it. He yeah, had the I, time I gave him the link, I gave him the link, and uh, he, said, he, he oh, called I, me I'm and in. said, he called me and said, hey, that looks like a TV movie. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay. uh, but it's a web series. And he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should maybe I should quickly explain Uwe Ball. Uh, he's a German um, producer, writer, director, um, and he has got already uh, produced here in British Columbia sixteen movies with Jason Stratham, with Dolph Lundgren, with uh, Till Schweiger. Uh, I mean, you name it. And he's now coming to you guys and working with you, or yeah. is that not signed yet? So maybe we should not. He actually signed it. He signed it already. So <laughs> yeah, but he, he's said, he signed he signed an, a letter of intent. Yeah, of course. So he said, if we get the funding to, his idea is to put it all together and make one TV movie out of it. Yeah. So we apply, yeah, yeah. and we are applying now for funding, and we already And have that would be the pilot then actually for maybe a series later on. Well, yeah, I didn't even think about that yet, but yeah, we're open so, to everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, so so we have the footage um, that we have so much footage that we only need like 30 more minutes, and then we have a TV movie. And, yeah, you, um, you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. and so mm -hmm. we are, we are applying for funding right now, mm -hmm. and hopefully get the funding to to finish that, and um, then we can both screen it both as a web series or as a short TV series, as well as one entire yeah. long TV. 
film. Yeah. So and, and yeah, and he's he's on board as a director and executive producer. Executive producer for our viewers means uh, the guy who brings the money in. Yeah. The financing. <laughs> That's the executive producer. Yeah. He's trying, and I'm trying. We're both trying. So hopefully, if things go well, we are we are filming this summer. What kind of other projects do you have, or, or is that is that all? So we're not only working on Enough, Vivella, yeah. Yeah. So I'm also working on a feature film, mm -hmm. and um, that's in pre-development, I would say. And um, we're in development of a eco lifestyle show, mm -hmm. Anita and I, where we play ourselves. Yeah, maybe a bit um, overpronounced, but yeah, uh, a bit controversial, pretty, right? Yeah. But what we are. So I'm more like the green person and scientist, and she's uh, business. She, what, what cup did you bring today? Was it? A, I've been trying for years to, to train her to. I do I, for I the most part, but not, not always. She came with a, if, so you if, always come with if, a paper cup, no? yeah. Yeah, uh, a throwaway cup. If, if I'm like, yeah. oh, I want a coffee, and I didn't bring my cup with me, I'll get a coffee. Then don't drink a coffee. No, but this, uh, <laughs> it's actually not a bad idea. It's a cool idea. Yeah. If you, uh, you mean real life or yet into the show now? That show. The show, yeah. Real yeah. life, anyway. I mean, in real life, we all should be a little bit green these days. Yeah, but it is a trend. If you think about it, seriously, mm -hmm. in the seventies, the green people, we called them. I mean, we laughed about them because they were the lefties. Now it is something very. Um, it it's is, a lifestyle. It got into society. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's a lifestyle now to be green. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. hip. So the rich people and, and the, the mm. high society, they're all, they're all vegans. we are green. Yeah, we are <laughs> vegans. But, but in the 70s, these yeah. were the hippies. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's a little bit double tongue, this whole thing. It's very hypocritic. It's paradox. It is. Oh. But you know what? Without it, I think the world would be worse. It's a trade-off. But I think we should all try to, to be greener and live greener because we have to. Because yeah. we, we are facing global change and climbing, so, climate change is a reality. So is we, that everybody what, knows that, I yeah. hope. Yeah. That, the problem is that you look out of your window and you don't see that anything changes from a day to day. Exactly, basis. you don't That's feel it, problem. you don't see it. Exactly. Until it's too late. Until, exactly, until you have this tsunami. Or until, until you cannot run away anymore. Yeah. And or, this is what people yeah. don't get. Yeah. Well, then I think it's the work of, uh, of the media actually to explain it better. <laughs> yeah, but. I mean, explain it in simple or, words and not, not yeah. let it. And, and, you know, the scientists should, should exactly, explain it in detail. Exactly, the scientists, and that's the problem. And that's my other work. Yeah. That, um, the scientists haven't been clear enough, or they don't talk to the public, or they talk to themselves, but the important research is not getting out there. So the scientists themselves, they have to get become better communicators of their research. So, so, so this, is, this is where our show comes in too, so this is where yeah, the absolutely. idea came from, because we wanted to... Um, you mean the Echo Show the, or the Libella? The Libella. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because, yeah, so we wanted to bring issues, or uh, scientific concept, to an audience that would normally not um, have access to those um, so issues. Those so those theoretically, things. what I don't understand is, um, I mean, we know all the CMF, the Canadian Media Fund, and yeah. ha Canada Heritage Fund, all these funds, fund yeah. the National Film Board, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, if I if I recoup it uh, correctly, there's there's no paragraph saying in the, in the funding uh, uh, in the funding regulations yeah. that if you have a green topic you will be special uh, treated. We should do that, huh? Uh, absolutely. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. because you use the media, yeah. you use the, the media film, mm -hmm. uh, medium film, mm -hmm. right? The message is the media, mm -hmm. or the media is the message, the famous uh, Canadian philosopher mm -hmm. uh, who said that. Um, so you use the media to, to transport that message that that this global warming topic is is always uh, um, present, and um, uh, I think it's a great thing what you guys do because this is exactly what what what's happening. So um, I think that's it for 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 this time. Okay. I, I really great. appreciate that you guys could come. Yeah, thank uh, you for thank inviting you. us. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I cross my fingers that that you will get the financing done. And uh, well, now with Uwe Ball, it shouldn't be a problem then. <laughs> so thank you very much for uh, watching us on the show. And um, don't forget, uh, like us on uh, Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter, and um, look into our website, uh, ahontv.com, or go just to uh, YouTube and uh, check out our uh, previous clips. All right, thank you. Bye-bye, see you next week.
Now suck it up, get focused, and let's do this. Yeah.